This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. In an effort to get my parents more active online without having to deal with the potential pitfalls of Windows PC use, click on the wrong thing and you know what, the whole thing can get hosed. <laughs> I decided I was gonna hook up my father with a brand new iPad. Yeah, you can easily spend a thousand bucks on one, but no longer am I going to be getting phone calls about blue screens or what is an AIM BIOS menu or viruses or malware. I'm hoping they'll just have more fun. Uh, so I basically turned to the online folks, uh, the internet, to see what they would say. And I, went, and I posted this in Google Plus uh, to say, basically, what apps are you folks using and how are you setting up these appliances for older people? And I got some terrific responses. Uh, the whole realm of everything you can imagine, from entertainment to practical, and I'll just start off with a few of them that people recommended. Uh, one, TuneIn is a software-based radio. It'll basically pull in those streams from all over the world. This is a great way if you have anybody that's interested in radio, this will not only pick up your local stations that are streaming, it'll pick up stations from around the world. It's a nice interface. There's a free version, a paid version. It's available on many platforms. And you can even do it online like this right here. Nice. The second app a lot of people recommended for news was Flipboard because of its, its, it really is a clever interface for this. And if you've ever had a chance to use this as a news reader, it's pretty terrific. Uh, it's very simple in terms of the visual nature of it, but you can also customize it right off the bat with what topics you're interested in or not. My dad, on the other hand, is a person who's into the national parks, be it traveling and visiting, so I made sure to hook him up with a couple of apps too related to things he likes. Uh, Nat Geo has a ton of great apps, and I'll just mention that the National Parks HD map is terrific, includes photos, information, travel, uh, lots of great stuff there. World Atlas, another one. This is also just kind of aiming towards interests of his as well. Also included apps like Kindle, Netflix, PBS for news, and nice. some other stuff as, up as well. Uh, but in terms of being able to find that iPad, say, there's another <laughs> one I would recommend too. In case the thing ever gets lost, we decided to also install the uh, Find My iPad app or the iPhone app. I guess it works on iPad. Just as make well. sure it's backed up in case somebody finds access yeah. to it. Yeah. And speaking of the back end setup on that, I went ahead and also created accounts for this person ahead of time and had it all set up and ready to go. Things like Skype, Pandora, I, iTunes, of course. Uh, and all of that information I put into a note stock on the iPad itself for quick reference. And nice. since that Apple iTunes password is the most often used, I gave a quick lesson to my dad on how to use the copy paste text feature with the iPad. And so that iPad pass or the iTunes password is always the one that's copied. So all he has to do whenever that pops up asking, oh, you want to install a new app or do this or do that, and it asks you for the iTunes password, you just press on the field and it pastes it right in there as needed. Cool. Also, there's no lock password on his iPad. Eh, he doesn't really need it. <laughs> and if it gets stolen, his name's written on the back and hopefully we'll be able to find it and somebody nice will hand it along. Of course, because we have the backup software on it, uh, the, basically the Find My iPad app, we could remote wipe it if we needed to or also do the location as well. Now, uh, games. I, I personally don't ever recall my dad playing any game other than those you would find in a casino. My Apple savvy cousin, on the other hand, suggested <laughs> I turn him on to something called Fruit Ninja as the ultimate tool to get somebody's finger up to speed on making the frequently used swipe motions on a tablet interface. It turned out to be perfect, and it was pretty fun. It was actually great to see him play that. Also, just a personal suggestion, I, I think Plants vs. Zombies is one of the greatest games of all time, <laughs> and the iPad version is probably the best one they've ever done, and it's worth, it's worth every penny for that. I also gotta say, throw in some uh, Angry Birds. You can't really go wrong with that one either. Simple games just to get them right. interacting with the device Comfortable itself. Comfortable with the interface. Totally, and speaking of interacting, uh, in addition to lessons you can give themselves on using some of the default apps like camera messaging and maps, you can also treat them to a free workshop if they happen to live near an Apple store, which is great. They have these free hour-long workshops that you can drill into and drill down into specific topics. Uh, everything from one aspect of an application to overall knowledge about using the product itself. And also, as far as dealing with things like email and other apps like that, I added all those accounts to the iPad because it supports them. He has a Gmail and a Hotmail account. Right. Those are both natively supported right there. And the iPad's great about blending all of those accounts and the information like the calendars, contacts, right. and the email into one easy to use interface. And if you've never done email on a tablet before, it's actually kind of fun to be able to swipe your finger and archive mail. Anyway, I also created a YouTube account to drop videos in because dad's going to be sending videos to everyone, I predict. And <laughs> I'd rather him not be tagging these onto emails. And Have you seen the our... Honey Badger son? Yes. If you know anybody that's just taking videos and attaching the file to an email and mailing it to everyone, that can get a little rude and big file sizes. So having a YouTube account that they can upload to mm -hmm. and then share that, that's a, that's a more that's a nicer way to do it. And for photos, I'm thinking of probably putting Instagram on there just to make it a little easier. But uh, were you setting up? Did you set up uh, the voice recognition of the new iPad? 
Arguably one of the neat things, I don't know, I, I assume this isn't on the previous versions, but right. the new iPad's keyboard has a button on it with a microphone, and the voice recognition is exceptionally good cool. for situations where uh, people might not be the fastest typers or mm -hmm. using that keypad might not be the best thing. Also, Chrome's built-in voice support, if you add that as a browser on the device, is a handy way to avoid having to type in URLs or even doing quick searches. And I found that between Apple's voice and the browser's voice control, there was a lot you could do without actually having to type in stuff. Pretty exciting. It was, and, and, and I appreciated the, the help people gave me for getting this set up. I'm actually surprised at how well it went. I was able to spend a full day just, mm -hmm. just taking our time and, and didn't rush anything, and, and I'm, I am also I'm playing tech support again for another product, but hopefully less <laughs> tech support. So hopefully in a couple months you'll give us an update and let us know if there's been tech support calls or if, if your life has just been flooded with YouTube videos. I, I just got, he just discovered that he can push the iMessage button and message me now, and uh, I'm doomed. I'm, I'm really setting myself up for a lot of tech support. <laughs> Hopefully up. less, though, than I was dealing with on the PC side of things. Well, actually, what if it's not tech support and what if it's just more like, you know, hanging out with Dad online? That, too. And, and FaceTime. FaceTime's pretty fun. And his, and his wife also has an iPhone, so mm -hmm. that got linked up immediately. And <laughs> There's a lot going on. But, it, you know, I, I got to say, the, it was a lot of money to throw down, but it, I think in the long run, it's going to be a nice... It's probably the best computing platform I've ever showed him and let the parents deal with without... Right putting a lot of extra uh, su uh, support requirements on myself. Basically, it was, a, it was a significant upfront investment, but you expect to recoup that in regaining billable hours you're not spending on your father. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and with that tale of goodness out of the way, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. You need a .com for any new website or blog you set up. A .com domain name is instantly recognizable and globally understood. It adds instant credibility to any website, no matter what name you choose. If you're setting up a website to start a new business, showcase your portfolio, or publish your blog, Domain.com is the best place to go for your next great idea. Plus, Domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter, at Domain.com, and great customer support make it a great place to do business. We have an awesome coupon code with a big 20% off discount off Domain.com's already low prices. Use the coupon code TECHZILLA when you check out at Domain.com. That's 20% off, folks. Big time savings. Don't forget, give the Techzilla coupon code some love. You'll get that 20% discount, and you'll be helping out the show. When you think domain names, think domain.com. And that's a .com.